And we're in the last race of the morning, the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup in the Bark Station at the top of the screen. It is Westminster School and closest to us it is Canford School. are twitching underneath the commentary just listening to that as the coxswains urge them down it's all the legs down together as one nine hearts together 16 legs driving trying to inch out trying to secure that bow ball before they take the rate down i was gonna say you must be closer to your own career than i am andrea i think over time that 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 will to do that dies off <laughs> I'm very happy to leave it to these guys. Give me a uh, Zudi, I'm ready. Put me back in, coach. But Westminster School at the top of your screen there, coached by Joshua Butler. They won the Sarnan International Regatta Junior 8. And in the National Schools Regatta, were eighth in the championship boys eight. And then this Canford crew as we ride with them down the course, really unusual. So you don't have to have rowing experience to be a great cox, but in this boat, we have just that. Uh, in fact, the cox and the two seat about two years again swapped, meaning that two seat has more coxing experience and the cox has more two seat experience. And I can only imagine that that just adds to the boat to have someone in two seat who really understands the intricacies of coxing and to have someone in the cox seat who understands what it's like to have a blade in their hand. Yeah, that's fantastic. As we see here, a very composed Westminster School. Leading under the grey skies, currently overhead at Henley Royal Regatta. Great conditions though for racing. There was a bit of heat last week, which all the British tell me about. They said it was 30 degrees, which they haven't spent much time in Australia, obviously, but <laughs> here it's about 23, 24 degrees. Look at the hype train in the middle of the boat there. That was my seat. Way to go. Uh, chattering to the rest of your crew, giving them a little bit of encouragement in rowing, mental at that mental aspect is such a key part of that, and I find every good eight needs a hype man. Yeah, I think that was Max Peel in the five seat, yelling to his crew, giving them a bit of a G up in the last few hundred meters. Especially in these younger crews, you every single race is an opportunity to learn to build confidence as you go forward and the first race of a regatta is always nerve-wracking you never really know sure where you're going to end out and i find that it kind of settles yourself for the next two so they're going to probably be dissecting this with their coach as soon as they cross the line talking about what went well and where those inches could be next time where do you how do you fine tune for the next race as we see there, the backs of Canford School, they're just correcting their course. Both boats coming a little bit close to the centre. We saw Sarah Winkless, the umpire, just flagging for Westminster School just to move over onto their station. So both crews probably coming a little close to the middle there. But they are a long way in the lead, so we don't expect any interference between these two boats. Unless, of course, there's some kind of major mishap in the last few hundred metres, which Never say never here at Henley. Yes, with eight blades going in together, timing is so crucial. Everyone needs to be in sync, placing the blade in at the same time. And right on cue, we have a great shot of just that. Those blades don't want to go too deep in the water, just enough to anchor so that you can push past them. The coxswain there with his microphone that is attached to speakers coming down the course. And as they come to applause through the finish line. And crossing the line here, it is Westminster School with a comfortable victory in the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup over Canford School.
there's been some great racing, and it's just day one, Sarah, of Henley Royal Regatta. So I'm really excited to see the next racing that's going to happen. I think we've got some great uh, showdowns coming up, and you know, some crews that are excited to take a swing at each other, and some international, some of your countrymen and some of my countrymen coming to showdown on the course.